and welcome to another episode of Vlogging a Dead Horse with myself, Sean Stevens. So today we have a bit of a battle royale between two of my favorite vlogging cameras. These are sort of ultra portables. Um, one is the G7X Mark I and the other is the GoPro Hero 7 uh, with its fantastic stabilization. And in this case, it also has the external sound advantage. I have the GoPro mic adapter, the big old box, uh, strapped underneath it in a Ulanzi case. And that has a Saramonic SM1 microphone with a dead kitten on it. So, at this particular corner where I'm at now, there's a bit of a breeze. You'll see it in my hair moving me around. The G7X only has onboard microphone, it's native microphone. There just is no external microphone adapter for it. And I have a dead teddy bear's ear. Of course it's a dead teddy bear's ear because you can't put a live teddy bear's ear onto a camera. But I chopped the teddy bear's ear off, strapped it on top of this G7X and that's doing a little bit of a sound deadening job for me. How is it working? Well, the wind's died down a little bit right of where I am. So, the main thing I want to test for today is stabilization. Now, the big story of this year was the fact that the GoPro Hero 7 came out with its just phenomenal stabilization. Uh, I'm absolutely not expecting the G7X to hold up quite to that because, well, there's nothing in the world that does hold up to it. But this G7X I think does a pretty decent job. I have both these cameras on uh, 50 centimeter monopods which in my experience helps to stabilize these cameras somewhat anyhow. Of course the digital stabilization in the GoPro should still be giving it the edge but how's it looking? I'm stomping along the road. I'm not uh, walking particularly smoothly. Uh, when I use these cameras and I vlog, I need to get along the road. I can't uh, walk like a ninja down the road uh, to try and stabilize the footage. So I'm just walking. How are these looking? Uh, the GoPro Hero 7 has the tiny little sensor in it. Of course it has to because of its, uh, its form factor. The G7X has quite a bit of a larger sensor and that should be giving me a bit of bokeh. I have both these um, cameras set on manual. Well, Pro Tune in the case of the GoPro Hero 7 and the manual setting on the G7X. Uh, both of them are on uh, 30 frames per second at the moment. I've had to put the, the shutter on auto on the GoPro to get a picture out of it. I did use uh, the rules to set the, the, the shutter speed just now on the GoPro, but I got a white picture back from it, which was no good at all. There's a helicopter in the background. Can you hear that on these cameras? How's the noise rejection on the ceremonic? And how's the sky looking? I love the job that the GoPros do with the, the skies. Um, they always tend to look pretty good on those cameras. And because I'm always uh, sailing around the world, etc., I like to show off the places that I'm that I'm going to. How is that mountain looking in the background? And the field of view. This is uh, another area where the GoPro holds the advantage. Even though I have the GoPro set to linear, which crops in the field of view at the moment, it's still should be substantially wider than the G7X. This G7X uh, starts at 24 millimeters, which is not bad. And I have it on the monopod, so it's a little further away from my body, though it's still less than a meter away. The G7X um, with its large sensor should be giving me a bit of a clearer picture as well. That has a, a 24 megapixel sensor whereas the GoPro Hero 7 only has a 12 megapixel but the processor on this GoPro 
that is a really really good job I have the sharpness on the GoPro set to high just so it can try and compete with the, the G7X but a little tip for you if you're using the GoPro you set the sharpness onto medium it does a little bit of softening for you so if you have skin blemishes etc uh, the GoPro Hero 7 will just soften them up a bit and act like a beautifying filter if you like so use it don't use it now I'm walking into the sunlight there should be a little more sun on my face although the sun is mostly above me at the moment how's that picture did that change a bit compared to when I was walking away from the sun and again how's the stabilization how is all this greenery looking in the background here I like uh, I like the the world to look nice and green and nice and blue when there are those colors but another thing that I really don't like is the blowout and glare that comes from road surfaces generally if I turn around this area over here I can see a lot of glare in my cameras usually how's this looking at the moment how's that road looking behind me uh, generally if I come a little bit later in the afternoon the Sun will be a bit further over that way and create a lot more glare at the moment there may still be some how are these looking against each other so this is a test I've been wanting to do for some time G7X first GoPro Hero 7 uh, two cameras that I love quite dearly I am not going to be getting rid of either of these they do slightly different jobs some people question whether you can use a GoPro Hero 7 as a vlogging camera at all uh, the G7X of course is one of the most famous vlogging cameras in the world uh, the Mark 2 a bit more famous than the Mark 1 which I'm using here but uh, this Mark 1 the difference between it and the Mark 2 is very nominal it really is only a small difference the same as the GoPro Hero 7 uh, has a new iteration out which is the GoPro Hero 8 this GoPro Hero 7 the difference between it and the 8 uh, in all the videos that I've seen so far the difference is so nominal uh, that there's no ways I'm gonna go out and spend that kind of money again uh, for for such a slight difference uh, same goes with the Mark 1, Mark 2 and even Mark 3 versions of the G7X this G7X Mark 1 I got for such a good price and uh, that's kind of the point of this vlogging channel is to buy things for very reasonable money and get them to vlog for me so in the comments below let me know which one you thought did a better job of this uh, particular test uh, the G7X should have a bit more okay behind me because of the larger sensor uh, but the stabilization and even the sound should be a bit better on the GoPro Hero 7 but you let me know what you think thanks a lot tune in again ciao